Hi, I'm Andrea Eldridge with Nerds on Call at callnerds.com, and today we're going to talk about how to create an additional library in iTunes. Now, this is really helpful if you've got multiple devices that you want to sync some things to one device, but not to all of them, or vice versa. Creating a new library is absolutely possible. You can use your existing um, music and data files, but separate them so that when you sync, you can choose which library you want to sync to, and it makes that process really easy. So, on a Mac computer, you're going to go down and actually select iTunes. Before you click to open iTunes, you're going to press the Option button. If you're on a Windows-based system, you're just going to hold the Shift button. Hold that button down first before you select to launch the application, and then you're going to choose Create Library if you haven't actually created your new library yet, and run through the steps to find the uh, music files that you want. The first thing you're going to do is actually choose to name your library something unique. So in this case, we can choose iTunes 3 and save. And then from there, you're going to go through the process to select which files you want to add to your new custom library.